the municipality of Confidence, object of research, is a city in the southern region of Minas Gerais, a state of the Brazilian Federation, whose capital is Belo Horizonte. The small town has a population of approximately 7,000. Its history fits in as one of the places where camps were established in search of gold. However, it was not successful in the municipality area, causing the camp to turn its trade to agriculture. The agricultural potential of Inconfidence was explored with immigrant labor, especially European, with the creation of an agricultural colony in 1909, which divided the municipality area in 205 lots, creating several properties aimed at small productions, creating an area singular of compared to the massive large states present in Brazil. This municipality potential was expressive, to the point where a high agricultural school was founded in the city more than 100 years ago, when the municipality was a district of the neighboring city of Ouro Fino, which has been expanded to form the Federal Institute of South of Minas Gerais, Campus in Confidence, a right education school in areas of interest in the city. It was at this time that the craft of crochet and crochet techniques began among women living in the small village. Local crafts gained prominence and remains a centuries-old tradition to this day, with their developments such as the installation of some textile industries. Another important issue is the tourism, linked to cultural roads that cross the city, making the municipality receive about 15,000 tourists annually, which they represent about twice its population. Based on this, a project is proposed that articulates the three elements, small holding structure, crochet tradition and pilgrim-made routes, throughout the function, implementation and the materiality of the proposal. In this sense, the proposal to create a space to house a popular market arises from the following issues. The municipality does not have a market where small producers can trade freely with the residents, which weakens possible direct relationships between the municipality's residents as a whole, whether in urban or rural areas. Another issue is the capture of this local production by other municipalities and the state of São Paulo, seeking to insert the municipality into a commercial chain, including seeking alternatives from mechanization of crops, still cultivated in a traditional way, due to the rugged relief of the region. Thus, the market proposal strengthens the local economy, value traditional techniques and has the potential to integrate the different actors in the landscape. Its location is due to the flow, which brings together both local inhabitants, as it is the center of the city, as well as all the passerby coming from pilgrimage tourism. Thus, the visibility and accessibility of this market would be complete, turning in into an urban event as the structure of the tents can support the most diverse urban events, since the city square is cut by several gardens, the which does not support the production of a space where people can gather and use the space freely. For this reason, the tent is made in a way that it is minimally invasive at ground level, avoiding occupying the street space to leave it free opening above the level of trees and houses, creating a large covered area, which is raised to the level of the sidewalk on both sides, creating a unique space for pedestrians, breaking with the logic of the automobile, albeit occasionally, but which can exemplify another way of appropriating and creating urban spaces. The materiality of the tent has a special symbolic value, as it is crocheted, in order to bring the tradition, presenting handicrafts and trees, we visited so that this is the materiality of architecture, creating a relationship of symbolic affection between the inhabitants, either by memory 
or by the fact that some have made the architecture with their own hands.